an emergency room physician, pediatrician, and certified cannabis science expert in Pueblo, Colorado, wants Louisiana legislators to see the health consequences she sees every day since marijuana was legalized in her state eight years ago. Come spend a day with me in the emergency department and see if they think it's a good idea. Dr. Karen Randall explains that the active ingredient, THC, in marijuana in the 70s, 80s, and 90s was 1 to 3%. Now it's higher than 20%. In the Woodstock days, people consumed one to three milligrams to get high. Now with products on the market, they can get 900 milligrams. So we see hyperemesis, we see psychosis, we see depression, we see suicidality. And a lot of these people are single drug users or started as cannabis. Dr. Randall says it's everywhere because people think it's harmless. And so do the young. Almost every drug use has increased. And not just by a little bit, but exponentially. We've seen a marked increase, but what we've really seen an increase in is the number of young kids using cannabis. She says it changes the young developing brain, causing permanent IQ loss and addiction. She has daily patient stories like this of a 13-year-old. She was trading sex for cannabis in the middle school and came to the ER because she was depressed and suicidal in addition to her addiction. How do I get her back to her childhood? Today, the GNO Drug Demand Reduction Coalition sent a letter to Governor John Bell Edwards asking for him to look at health issues. But alcohol is out of your body in 24 hours, whereas marijuana lingers in the body and in the brain. And so we think there's going to be a dramatic jump in uh, marijuana-related harms when it's, it's legalized. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.